ladies and gentlemen, folks, people, or organisms that understand my words, uh, there's three new Netflix specials out that you should be aware of. Number one, Joey Diaz has a Netflix special out right now. It's called The Degenerates. There's a series of them. Also, our friend Christina Pazitsky has one. She has two specials. She has that one, and she has one that she did, uh, I think, like a year ago, less than a year ago either, called uh, Mother Superior. Uh, and I have one out, too. It's called Strange Times, and I think it's my best one. They're all out right now on Netflix. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by the Cash App. And you might already know that the Cash App is the number one finance app on the App Store. But it also is a lot of other cool shit. First of all, you can direct deposit your paycheck right into the app, and then you get a thing called the cash card. Ooh, the cash card is the only debit card that will offer you instant rewards and comes packed with premium features that not even a credit card can offer, like boosts. With the Cash App's Cash Card Boosts program, you can save up to 10% at Whole Foods, Chipotle, Shake Shack, and many more of your favorite spots, and even a dollar off coffee every time you swipe your cash card at coffee shops across the country. The Cash Card, unlike a credit card, also does not have any hidden fees, ever. And a credit check is not required to get one. And the Cash Card lets you have control of your money with extra in-app safety features that let you pause your card with just a touch. It's fucking beautiful. It's a sweet card. And you can buy and sell Bitcoin. Did I tell you that? Oh, yeah. Easier and more convenient and more inexpensive than you can any other way. Buy and sell fucking Bitcoin instantly. Ooh. The Cash App and the Cash Card are two awesome things, and you can download the Cash App right now and get your Cash Card for free. Visit the App Store or the Google Play Market now. And of course, when you download the Cash App, enter the referral code Joe Rogan, one word. You will receive $5, and the Cash App will send $5 to our good friend Justin Renz, Fight for the Forgotten Charity, who's building, well, they're building wells for the Pygmy in the Congo. And uh, through this, promotion. They've built two wells for the pygmies and they're they've raised thousands of dollars in the process of building many more wells. We're very, very happy with that. So again, download the Cash App for free in the App Store or the Google Play Market and make sure you use the reward code Joe Rogan. One word, you get five bucks. Five bucks goes to an awesome cause. We are also brought to you by Everly Well. Everly Well is an at-home lab testing company that offers over 30 tests, ranging from a food sensitivity test that tests your body sensitivity to 96 foods to a comprehensive men's health test that measures key hormones like free testosterone and cortisol. Other tests include a thyroid test, inflammation test, heart health test, and many more. And the process to complete those Everly Well tests is crazy easy. All you have to do is head to everlywell.com Choose your tests, and they'll be shipped directly to your doorstep. The kits have super detailed instructions that lay out exactly what you need to do. And you can either collect, depending upon what, you, what test you're running, you can collect your own sample right from home. And depending on the test, it's either a couple small drops of blood or a little bit of saliva or a urine sample. Now, once you complete your sample collection, which takes about 60 seconds, uh, you package it up in prepaid shipping envelope that they provide and ship it out to Everly Wells CLIA certified lab partner. Once the lab receives your sample, they'll process it. A board certified physician will then review them for validity and you will get your results via Everly Wells secure online platform within just five days. Everly Wells takes all the hassle out of lab testing and makes it convenient and affordable to understand important things about your body. And the results that you receive can be super insightful. They're nothing like confusing black and white results of a bunch of random numbers that you get from traditional labs. Everly Well clearly and beautifully lays out all of your levels on your results, as well as giving you an in-depth insight into what they mean and what action you can take based on your results. So no more sitting in waiting rooms for hours. You can complete these essential lab tests all from the comfort of your own home and receive the same accurate results that you would get from going to the lab. Head over to everlywell.com and use the code Joe Rogan, all one word, 
to take 15% off your first order. Again, head over to everlywell.com. Use the offer code Joe Rogan for 15% off your first order and take control of your health with Everlywell. This episode of the podcast features my good friend, Eric Weinstein. He is legitimately one of the smartest people I've ever met and uh, confusingly smart. Too fucking smart. And boy, I'll tell you right now, we went into the weeds. He was explaining some physics stuff that uh, both me and Jamie took our stupid faces and, and shook them back and forth and tried to just try to knock some sense in there. <laughs> but we talked about a lot of other stuff that's very digestible. I mean, you're probably smarter than me. You'll, you'll be able to handle this physics stuff. I was, uh, there was several moments where I was lost. I was just like hoping we're going to see a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> but he's awesome. I really love him. I love talking to him. Please give it up for the great and powerful Mr. Eric Weinstein. Joe Rogan Podcast, check it out. The Joe Rogan Experience. Train by day, Joe Rogan Podcast by night. All day. And we're live. Are you, you going to update the, the people out there? No. Oh, you shut your phone off? Yeah. Oh, you're a professional. Try How are you, sir? Good to I'm see you. I'm doing well. What's going on? Um, everything. It's all pretty weird out there. It is very weird out there. We were just talking about how weird it is out there um, before the podcast about how it just seems like it's very difficult to keep together during these times and to, to, ha- to keep a reasonable position and to handle all of the pressure of all the people that get upset at anything you do, left or right, in the middle, centrist, you're too centrist, you're too left, you're too right, you're unreasonable, you're too reasonable, you're too nice, you're not nice enough. Wow. Suddenly I feel like I'm in a marriage. <laughs> Doesn't it seem like that yeah, though? It does. I think that this is why dis- this is the era for disagreeability. If you're not easily swayed um, because you're somehow uh, insensitive enough that you just want to keep uh, to first principles, whatever it is that you believe, that seems to be the best hedge against getting swept up in the madness of others. How so? Well, um, I guess I, when I go metacognitive, I look at my yearning for group belonging. And then I also watch my inability to belong to groups that say crazy things. Yeah, And so those are Those are two conflicting feelings. I think sometimes when people look at me, they say, wow, you're really contrarian and you have an easy time standing up to, you know, the conventional wisdom. And I don't think it's, it's, it's that true. I just think when those two things fight inside me, uh, dialectically, the disagreeability is so strong because it's protecting a comprehensive view of the world. And so since everything already kind of fits together fairly well, I would say I'm much it's much harder to sway me because the number of things I would have to move cognitively to accommodate a wrong idea mm. is, is quite large. It seems unnecessary, but it also seems like we should be able to disagree on things and you should be able to point out with reasonable courtesy that there's something wrong with someone's idea and it not become a big personal thing. But oftentimes that's not the case. Well, so... A lot of the things I think that we're, we're exploring are what I would think of as heuristics. They're sort of rules of thumb that work fairly well within some domain of definition. And we've gotten so many of these conflicting rules. I mean, the rules of thumb themselves conflict. So, for example, he who hesitates is lost, uh, conflicts with um, nothing ventured, nothing gained, or something like that. Uh, mm. Sorry, no, uh, um, it's... Uh, well, I forget. You know, there's the cautionary um, aphorism, and then there's the be bold aphorism. And so we don't have a good way of sorting out conflicts that occur at the heuristic level. And then you also have heuristics uh, meant for social cohesion conflicting with ground truths. So this is why biology is always controversial, because biology is a science that tells us many of the things that we wish were true are just not true. You know, I always think mm. about Ben Shapiro's facts don't care about your feelings. Well, biology cares about your feelings. It just laughs at them and stomps on them and makes them, uh, you know, feel very sad. Well, it also tries to explain your feelings, too. Well, it, right, exactly. Yeah. But, but, you know, if, if you really understand biology, the world is so dark and, and so interesting and beautiful and, and crazy that it's very hard to recover simple ideas about how people should be once you really realize that our being apes has deep consequences. Yeah, I have a very minimal understanding of biology, but in that understanding, I've come to accept 
some things just about being a person.